Hey guys, this is Jerry with yet another video. In this video, I'll show you how to add some cool uh, like and subscribe animation on your videos. Many guys actually ask me when they actually saw some animations on some of my videos. So you can actually do that too. It's really easy, uh, especially if you're using OBS, you just need to add a source. Then I'll show you how to do that. You can actually do it on other videos as well, not just on live streams. You can do that. You can actually use these animations on other videos you edit with other softwares like you know premiere pro or vegas pro so whatever the software you use it's super easy guys first thing first first you need to download gif image that actually animates through it so you can actually download uh, this gif image from giphy here and i have put the link in the description you must know about this site right so you can actually download lots of different animations from here you can just search like and subscribe and you'll get all these animations here so and you can actually download whatever the version of this animation or subscribe and like animation you want so here i'm going to use this one this one is really cool right it can be used to, for both youtube and facebook's kind of right it has like and subscribe and the bell icon animations here that's really cool right and there is this cute dog that's cool so i'm going to use this one okay to download this you just need to right click and this save images and you can save this on your pc okay that's it just say wherever you want and we will locate this file later okay on obvious so i have downloaded it already so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to show you how to do it on uh, Streamlabs obvious or obvious so what I'm gonna do is just add a media source here to add a media source just click this plus button here is a media source I'm going to add this media source here then click add source and add a new source instead and name it like you know sub and like button then add it okay so now I have added this source so now you need to locate this file so for that you need to browse right click this browse button go to that um, file find that file wherever it is it's I think this is the one I just uh, downloaded I hope so so then just oh no no this is not the one okay this is the one okay so here it is so you can see that playing here already but you can actually put it on loop if you don't put this those on a loop it doesn't keep playing okay it just stops playing once it's played now you can see that it's not playing so if you actually keep it on loop it'll it'll actually keep playing okay you don't need to turn it on and off it keeps playing especially if you're on live streams i think it's better to keep it on loop right so people see it right away they land on your live streams or if you if you don't enable this loop it just plays once and stops it there so if you actually keep it on loop it keeps playing that's it now here you can see that this cute dog is here asking our viewers to like and subscribe that's so cool right so you can actually adjust the size of it like like this you know so for example so what I'm gonna do is just here so you know how big uh, this is it shouldn't actually cover other aspect of this video so uh, you should be careful how you actually place it when you place it you can actually move it around wherever you want so I'm going to put it here again this is the right place to put it on this particular stream right now you can actually see this on my stream so that's how you actually add subscribe and like animations on your live streams on Streamlabs obvious this is exactly how you actually add on obvious as well so on the original obvious you just add a media source like the one here you know i have added one here you can see that so it's gone just enable it it's it keeps playing it's another subscribe and like animation so just double tap you can see that you can actually browse and locate the file here and put it on loop then click OK. So to add a media source, just click this plus button, and here you can see this media source. Then once you add that media source, you can see that media source here. You can change the name of that media source. Just right click and rename. Then you can actually change the name of that particular media source. So here, uh, 
sovereign line right so that's it so you can actually double tap and if you want to put it on loop you can do that if you don't want to put it on loop what happens is you can just disable it then it just plays once it's gone right so and if you want to play it again after a few minutes you need to disable it you know you, you need to click that uh, I icon you see there so and place it again just it goes away then if you want to play it again after a few minutes just click that I icon again then enable it so that's how you do that it's better to keep it on a loop so you don't have to do it over and over so it keeps playing on the video and whoever comes to your video sees this right so it can easily grab the attention of uh, your viewers so it's really cool right so that's how you do that and you can actually add these gifs on your other softwares as well as you edit videos so it'll be shown on your other videos as well not just on live streams so that's how you basically add subscribe and like animations on your live streams as well as on your other videos so i actually hope this helps Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and thanks for watching.